Hey there, thanks for landing here in .NET Techie. Sorry for delay for this video. This is seventh video on online shopping website where I'm gonna to do tell you how to implement the checkout functionality in online shopping website. So it will be a step by step approach from zero to end how you can develop the checkout functionality in Angular along with the RESTful API. So without disturbing much or discussing much on the theory part let us jump on the next session what i have for you so just these are the bullet points which will make you clear what you're gonna to learn if you are going to watch this video further so design of checkout functionality required info for checkout what all the required info <coughs> you can explore it and you can even comment on uh, this uh, video to if i'm missing anything or that needs to be included then preparing the checkout model so this is check checkout model will be a class in the service which i will be sending from the client side and which is gonna to getting saved into database so that's what uh, we will explore that uh, design functionality as well how checkout works that i will show you <laughs> after that in the next video on the eighth video i'm gonna to come up with the confirm your order so final thing in which we will be saving the record to database so let's jump on the practical thing what you will learn let me log in so here is my username t first name i entered i have logged in yeah so i'm already there let me add few product in card okay all right this product is already existing card so no issue because earlier i have Okay. So now here it comes. I have two products in my cart item, and what I did in this tutorial is I have kept the three sections for you. Where one is item detail, other one is order detail, and other one is confirm order order. So item detail as already I have shown this plus minus. Um, okay, so let us increase the quantity of this, and it will calculate the price. Now. We will hit on the checkout button. So this is the checkout button. I click on the checkout button. It is asking me to provide the order details. So let's see. I wanted to get it delivered on Bangalore, India. Check and receive. All right. And check is five six double zero seven six. Okay. So I've given the delivery detail, and now it is asking us to proceed to this. So these are the basic details which I have fetched by logging user information, where your user ID is at this, which will be a read-only field for me, and uh, then phone, email, and a special instruction if you wanted to give. So let's say <coughs> this is gonna to be the gift for someone special you have. Okay, and total amount is eleven thousand eight ninety eight. Now I will hit on the proceed to pay, and it will show me all the details over here. So let me take the cash. Okay, so these are the delivery details where I have chosen these two items. Okay, and item details over here. Here I can hit on the confirm order, and it should call a method in the RESTful API and save the, those information in database. Now I will show you these HTML how I have designed and what what all is happening. Okay, let's uh, directly jump on the HTML part where we are gonna to show it. This is basically the uh, Angular side video where uh, we most of the time I have uh, done the functionality in HTML and that's what we are gonna to show you. So let us discuss this line by line code how I have achieved it. So I have taken one ngb accordion. ngb accordion is referenced by dot a hash acc and close others is equal to true. So this is whole project is made with the effort only using the bootstrap. So the bootstrap is a, such a powerful thing which can give you this kind of functionality. After that, for my first section, this uh, collapse example div is starting. So this is my first panel, which is item details. This was item details over here. Then after that, it will be order details and confirm your order. So this is item details panel, and in item details panels, I am having this uh, table. 
So they are I'm having name, image of the product, name, price, quantity, and total for items. This I have shown in the last video. Hope you are able to see the code till now clear. Okay, I'm going. Some of the my viewer has complained that you are going too fast. So now this time I want to show all the code so that it will help you. This is how image is getting binded. Just for your information, who so don't know how to bind the image. Array. Okay. So this is the first section where I'm having item details and I can add the item detail and it is uh, product dot unit price dot product dot quantity. It is calculating the total for that particular item. Here starts my next panel and one more thing in the top panel we are having one button called checkout and checkout it is on the click of the checkout and just opening the second panel which is static to my second panel is static to so just wanted to highlight that information what happens when you click it on the checkout now static to is this and it gets open when you hit on the checkout all right so here is uh, the information for the second panel where i am having the information name delivery address phone email special message instructions and total amount to pay that all i have then i am having one button proceed to pay and which is opening my third panel where we have to confirm the order so in next video i will uh, write the functionality to post the model from angular side to api side and save into the database and confirm the order but this in this video i have done the designing of the checkout functionality so this is my third panel where i'm having two tables one is delivery details and another one is item details hope uh, um yes so delivery details and item details and then um, a respective table i'm showing on uh, just a video of that so if you haven't watched this one okay please watch it closely here is the item details so first with the item details so i just the item name size font six percent okay so here i have to make it to be here all right so first to, first table is item detail and second table you have is delivery delivery information. So here we go. Now second table got started where you are having the delivery information and you are expecting from the form. So, so <coughs> all right and let's see if on the checkout it got for the okay now. Let me log in back again because I have discussed the code and uh, uh, it tells me to log in. Okay, log in here. Okay, I'm already logged in. As I will say, it will say that it is already there. Quickly check out. Then, I'm here. Okay, alright. So this is item details, so these are two items and these are the delivery details, so that's how it works. Okay, let me take you to my <laughs> type script code, what I have in my type script code. So here is my type script code, where these are the imports which is required and free imports is not required which is unnecessary, that's why it is not in the proper color this is selector then after that default quantity so this was in earlier video you might have seen this source code that is pretty common in the constructor and using product service and form builder and authentication service in authentication service i am storing the rules from there i am getting the information in ng on any i'm just getting products from the card so whatever the product has been there in the card we are getting from there Calculate all totals, get logged in user details, and once logged in user details come, we will um, uh, hold that information and show into the delivery form information, whatever the initial information. On add quantity, this is the on add quantity method. When you click on the plus icon, this is method on remove quantity, calculate all total, and get logged in user details. This is get all details. So that's what we have in the type script. 